Welcome back to the channel, all about life skilling, and with the massive update to life skills, farming is now easier to get those alts leveled sooner and get those contribution points while doing it. I'm talking about the blush leaf that we can now farm up in our fences. So, if you've been looking for a way to get contribution points for just farming up those alchemy fruits and cooking ingredients, get those fences ready and let's start farming those blush leaves. Keeping up with the massive changes made to life skills, I'm out here at my farms to show you the new farming byproduct, the blush leaf. This has been added, but to make room for these, the old byproducts have been removed, freeing up more room in your storage for other items. Much like the other byproducts, the blush leaf can be used by other tunes, placed in storages, and cannot be sold on the central market. What makes these special besides the farming experience and contribution though? You can turn 20 blush leaf into Camellia Lagia here at Lagia Farm for fertilizer to keep those farms going, four special pepper seeds, one stone tail fodder for those dream horse awakening, and the whole reason why most of us are farming more, 900 contribution point experience and 30 farming experience, which, when saved up, can level past a whole farming tier in seconds. This means it'll take twice as much more than the Fairy's Breath or the Mysterious Catalyst, but with how many are rewarded, you'll obtain these quickly. Really fast, comment down below if you like the new changes made or if you prefer the old byproducts instead. I like being able to farm up the contribution points and experience items for my alts. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you're enjoying the life skilling content here on the channel. So now that you want these new byproducts, let's talk about obtaining them. When farming, you now get a chance of obtaining anywhere from 1 to 4 blush leaf from plant breeding. I have yet to obtain any while gathering the produce, but these do have a chance of being acquired when improving the haystacks or the chicken feeds. So if you're using fences for chickens and cows, don't worry, you can still get a blush leaf. As an added bonus, when breeding magical seeds, you are also given a chance of obtaining the new byproducts while trying to get those alchemy fruits. Mastery doesn't affect the drop rate like it does with Gathering Mastery, and these are completely random. Using an alt with a lesser mastery still has the same chances of obtaining a blush leaf as your main farmer. So sadly, there is no real way to speed up getting these other than higher slot fences or just more fences in general. If you want to see how to get your own 10 slot Finto Strong Fence, click the video in the top corner. With all the new life skill updates and new ways to speed up how to earn experience or contribution points, it can be a little confusing keeping up with the changes. The new blush leaf makes for a nice game changer when it comes to leveling up alts and getting more contribution points for just simply farming. I've been trying to get the new byproducts to level my farming and get those contribution points needed to get another workshop that I need. If you want to see another way to level those life skills or just want to see how to make more money in Black Desert Online, click this video here. Have a great week out there and I will see you in the next guide.